Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Scott and today we're at Spring Mountain Raceway in Pahrump, Nevada. We're going to go take a tour, so come on in. So when you first go through the gates, this is what you're greeted with, is a nice beautiful yellow Corvette, as well as the signs on which track to go to, which classroom. And then on our way to the clubhouse, we were greeted by one of the classes know, going out to the track. So here you're looking at the facility uh, on a map and it currently, as you see it, is just a little over 300 acres. From what I understand, they've just purchased another 300 acres and they're going to be adding that in and building bigger tracks. There's also 80 lots, uh, 50 of them are already sold and there are, so if you're looking to get a lot, um, you could buy buy a lot and put a house out here. There's about 30 of them still available. So um, if you're looking to do that, there you go. They're also planning on building a drag strip out here. So um, the drag strip uh, slash runway. So if you had a plane and you wanted to be able to fly in, you'll be able to do that. Um, and the track hosts uh, various driving schools, not just Ron Fellows Driving School. Um, there's Corvettes, there's Porsches, uh, you name it, there's probably every type of car out there. Um, they do uh, some track rental for the people that actually are owners or guests of the facility, and it is home to the, the Private Motorsports Country Club. And while we were waiting for our tour, here's the clubhouse to show this off. It's a really beautiful facility. Some of the trophies that have been won, as well as something I'd love to be able to have in my house. And here's the first view of the west side track over here. This is going up to the first tower. You can see that there's a pool and a spa up there. And now this is the west side of the track, and you can see in the distance there that the cars are doing braking exercises. Now, they were really far out there, and I tried to zoom in the best I could, but I wasn't really prepared for that part of it. Now, as they were getting done with those braking exercises, this is them coming back in. Now these are the same cars that we had met as we were going in, like I told you, you were going to be able to see them again. Now if you notice, there's a Camaro running the, the front of this. Um, what I was told is that the Camaros are the, the car that the instructor drives. And he can usually outdrive the Corvettes because he's familiar with the track and he's experienced, so they don't have to use the Corvette for that. So they've had some more class time and now they're back on their way back out to the track. And as again, you can see the Camaro leading the way, that's the instructor. If they were doing a Z06 class or a ZR1 class, then they would use a Z06 as the instructor car. But for the Stingray class and the Grand Sport class, they only use the Camaro. Yeah, Jennifer's looks almost identical to that one right there. Okay, Stingray. Well, we've, we've put all the... That's the way it came, I should say. Now it looks, looks like one of these. I've put all the ground effects, all the arrow on it. Take that on the track. Van goes out too? <laughs> Some high performance vans. <laughs> so basically the car immediately behind the dry, the uh, instructor, the instructor goes as fast as he does. 
So when you're in the school, you don't have to worry about if everybody else is slower. That's why we have rovers out there. They're always watching so that you can do what you want. You can go as fast and push that car as much as you want. The instructor will stay ahead of you. And then they get to where like you do a lap or two and then they'll get to a back straight and they'll do a rotation. And now the next person who's immediately behind him, like you go to the back of the line and then you keep practicing your line, but you gotta stay behind the person that's in front of you. So it's only when you get to be in the uh, right behind the instructor that you really get to push it. So here was a ZR1 class that was actually getting ready to go out and they were able to come by here and let us take a look at them and go around the corner here you can see. But they ended up having to stay on the opposite side, actually quite a ways away from us. Uh, I didn't, wasn't able to get any footage really of it, but over to the right of the screen, uh, there was a, a Porsche club that was out there racing that day, and they actually, one of them had a an engine, That's I guess, blue, the and the guy kept driving it, and, t and it just spilled oil all over the place. So I'm not exactly sure what happened, but uh, somebody else hit that oil. He hit the uh, hit the wall, the barrier. So there was a lot of uh, a lot of problems going on out there. So the ZR1s kind of had to just stay over in this area that you can see them going back and forth. So they were doing speed runs back and forth here on this other track here. Later on I did find out that um, I guess the guy that actually built the motor was driving the car at the time in that Porsche and from what I understand the car that ended up getting damaged uh, was a little over a $600,000 car so that was probably going to be a very interesting conversation between those owners. So guys, hopefully you liked what you saw. I want to reach out and say thank you to Elizabeth for showing us the facilities and giving us all the information that we're going to need. And I can tell you what, we can't wait to get out here and go run this track. So um, when we get out there, we'll be, of course, being able to film that. That told us that we can go ahead and film in the car and, um, and I'll, I'll put a helmet cam on. So um, you can rest assured that when we do that, we will be doing that. So guys, thanks for watching today. You guys have a great day.